Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Kingdom. Today we are starting off at the skeleton spawner here. So we're going to go ahead and set up a actual spawner farm here. Uh, we're at Y level 29. Uh, so I actually just mined down from sort of our way in the ravine to the coordinates that I had screenshotted uh, last episode. Uh, but I think we need to figure out a bit of a better way to get down to this area. Uh, anyway, if you guys haven't... Uh, created a spawner farm before all we are going to do is pretty much mine down two blocks from the spawner here and then we're just gonna I'm just gonna actually take it out uh, probably nine blocks either side or eight blocks either side whichever just so that the water you know like runs its course so I'm gonna prepare the area here we're gonna obviously get rid of this chest as well we'll just move it probably over to here or something or actually we can just keep the contents in our inventory for the moment uh, but yeah I'm going to go one two three four five six seven and eight and I think then the water should essentially run all the way to the spawner here and I actually let me let me have a think here. All right, yes. Yeah, so I pretty much want this to be the front of our, our spawner. So I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna try and um, make it so that the skeletons go up so that they can sort of fall down and get one shot. Um, but obviously it's a bit harder now because with the water mechanics, uh, they don't actually float. So you've got to use bubble streams to get them up. Um, which might cause inefficiencies, but anyway, I think if we have a water stream run down the middle here, uh, like so, three, four, I think it'll run down to about here. Let's have a quick look. We'll mine this out just to be sure. It'll go one more. All right, so it'll go to around about there, uh, and then we'll maybe try and have our bubble evader here, maybe? And then they'll push each other into them and our bubble vader will go up. I think that's a good plan. Uh, we'll <laughs> only time will tell if, it, if it'll work. Uh, and then we want to go one, two, three, add another four blocks this way. And four. And then what we want to do is just uh, clear all of this out. And once we do that, we'll have water running in from here into that water stream. Actually, we want to go one more block. Uh, so like this because we don't want those water streams interacting with each other so like that and then that way the skeletons will get once it, once this is all filled in the skeletons will get pushed into here hopefully a little bit faster than I am then they get pushed into here um, they're gonna pretty much like stand here but then they'll get pushed in by their buddies and they'll go up so hopefully that doesn't cause any sort of inefficiencies in the farm but if you guys have any better ways of uh, getting them into a bubble stream and getting them up uh, definitely leave a comment below because I have no clue I have no clue absolutely no clue I'm gonna get all of this mined out uh, and then we'll come back and we'll get the water in there alrighty well that's most of the spawner room uh, dug out dug out so uh, what I want to do is actually place in some redstone lamps here oops not there uh, around about four blocks away from the wall and one block away from this wall. So, one, two, wait. <laughs> I lost count. One, two, three, four. So, right there and then another one right there. And another one right there and there is no wall here. Oh, God. One, two, three, four. Whoop. Boom. I think that's about right. And so pretty much what that's going to do is just uh, in the future I actually want to be able to toggle this farm so um, eventually we'll hook up some redstone and whatnot to, to the redstone lamps there and we'll be able to turn this farm on and off and I also just want to go ahead and add a little bit of a spruce spruce ceiling to this uh, build uh, just to spruce it up a little bit if you know what I'm saying <laughs> uh, but yeah after that uh, we're just going to go ahead and put the water streams in put the soul sand in uh, I'm probably gonna have to get a little bit of kelp and 
do some testing or research on how far we need to drop the mobs as well. I think it's somewhere around like 20 or 30 blocks for an instant kill, right? Like 30 blocks or so for an instant kill. Um, but we want these to be one shot. Uh, actually, as a matter of fact, I have forgotten to go through my goals for this episode. Uh, so obviously one of our goals today is the skeleton spawner. And as a matter of fact, that's m pretty much one of the only goals. Um, because every other goal sort of relates to the skeleton spawner in some way, shape or form. I also want to go ahead and go over to where our spruce village is and tame up a couple of dogs that we should be able to find around that area. Uh, and the reason we want to do that is so that we can sort of make this... Oh, I'm out of spruce slabs. Uh, so that we can make this skeleton farm pretty much automatic and still get experience out of it because the dogs will kill the skeletons, of course. Uh, and then I want to go ahead and create a pretty nice room just to sit in with some storage and things. Um, we'll maybe try to to make like a sorting system if I have enough redstone uh, items as well. But that's not one of the goals. We just want to make a nice looking sort of room for, for everything as well. So yeah, we'll uh, go ahead and grab some more spruce slabs and might as well grab our soul sand while we're up here as well. And then we'll get cracking on the rest of the spawner there. Alrighty peeps, so I've gone ahead and cleared out this room, we've added in the spruce slabs that we uh, needed to add as well, uh, and I've also sort of cleared out a little bit of space here, so I think this will be where we have our storage, so we'll have like bones, arrows, and then like bows and armor and stuff that comes out of there. Uh, this is where we'll have the mobs drop down, uh, so I've already sort of figured all of that out, and all that we need to do now is get these water sources in place, so what we're going to do is get all the way to the top here which might take a little bit of time, but um, I've gone ahead and gathered up some kelp uh, so that we can go ahead and make these all water sources nice and easy. And uh, yeah, it's, I did do a bit of research and apparently 22 blocks will get a skeleton to half a heart and uh, make it an instant kill, so that's uh, that should be pretty good. Obviously the ones with armor and, and whatnot uh, might not instantly die. I think sometimes they'll have like feather falling on the boots and stuff, but uh, we're going to gather up some dogs to take care of all of the skeletons anyway, so that we can uh, hopefully AFK here and get some experience and whatnot, which will be very good for getting all of our enchantments and everything done. Uh, so I think we're just about at the top here now. Yep. So yeah, I've just dug out pretty much a, a, a little way along here to uh, get to this little drop here. And pretty much all we're going to do now is go down all the way to the bottom here. And you know the drill. You just place in the kelp here, and it'll make uh, source blocks. That's the word I'm looking for. So then we come all the way up with the uh, kelp, and you'll see that this... Uh... Oh, okay, yeah. So the water source only gets to here. I did actually preempt that, and we're going to put extra blocks here. Um, I originally only mined it out... Uh, one block high, which was not a good idea because obviously then I can't get the water source all the way down to here. And that's perfect! I'm not going to drop down there because I have a feeling I might just about die. So let's go back down this way, place in our soul sand, and hopefully that is enough to get the skeletons uh, up here and into the little kill chamber. Alrighty, so we pop the soul sand in, and the next thing we want to do is probably actually... Uh, design the killing room uh, a little bit so that we can actually trap the skeletons in here and um, they don't get loose or anything so actually before we do that I think I'm just gonna quickly see if we can make anything here we can uh, so I'm just gonna makeshift a little little chamber here to contain the skeletons so something a little bit like this uh, we'll put a slab there, and boom, boom. Uh, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll do this. Boom, boom. No, because then they'll be able to see us. Ah. We'll just do a little bit like that, and um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and. Fill in the water here. Let's just quickly take 
that out. <laughs> and we'll fill in some of this water here. Like so. Make sure it's still lit up while we're doing this. Cure beans. And we'll replace the water that we took from here as well. So the bubbles go all the way up and we don't forget. Grab one of those out. Boom. That's all good. Alright, so now what we want to do is just knock out all of these torches and hopefully then some skeletons will start to spawn. I'm uh, gonna have to quickly run out of here once they start spawning though, because I don't wanna get I don't wanna get destroyed. And one there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Go in. Let's run away for a little bit so that they any new ones that spawn in can't track us. And he's going to be a pain. Oh, jeez. Okay, perfect. He hasn't got armor on. And he's a one-shot kill. He hasn't got armor on. One shot. One shot. One shot. No. Has he got a helmet on? Yeah. All right. Let's, uh... Ooh, 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 ooh. Try and light this place up again. Without dying. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I need more food too. Alright, so I have actually sort of decided against uh, designing the killing room just yet because I want it to be congruent with the whole ravine design that we go for. And I haven't quite made up my mind on what design we're going to go for with the ravine. So maybe we'll wait until we can actually get into... Oh, I was going to tame you. I was going to tame you. There we go, we've got one already. Um, yeah, so I think maybe we'll wait until we can actually get into the ravine and uh, see what design we go with there. And then we'll carry that on down to the skeleton spawner. But for now, we're just going to get ourselves a couple of dogs, of course. And then we're going to put them into minecarts and we'll set up like a little killing shoot. Killing shoot, I think that's the right word for it. Uh, and yeah, we'll hopefully be able to AFK. I'm not going to bother naming these dogs or anything um, because I'm pretty sure... They're probably going to end up dying, especially if I AFK overnight at the skeleton farm. Uh, because the thorns armor and stuff, uh, skeletons spawn every now and then with thorns armor on, and when the dogs attack them, it hurts, and all of that sort of jazz. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to bother naming them or anything. We'll um, try and breed them up before we put them into the spots, though. Uh, that way we can keep a nice supply of dogs around. But anyway, I'm going to look around and try and find myself another dog here. And then I'll meet you guys back at the skeleton spawner and we'll set up uh, a little bit of an AFK setup over there. Hey guys, we're back at the skeleton spawner now and I'm just going to place in this torch as well so that they don't spawn in on us. Uh, so this is where the skeletons drop down obviously, so we want to have a hopper right in here. And we'll maybe just, for now I'm just going to have some like temporary storage because... I don't really think I have the resources to set up like a sorting system or anything. So we'll just have some temporary storage down here for now. What is going on? <laughs> I can't even place chests properly. What am I doing? Something a little bit like that. And then we have the hopper pointing into that. And I think that should be enough to uh, kill the skeletons. That's the word I'm looking for. So let's just put a stair or a slab on top of that and we'll put some blocks around here as well uh, just to keep them keep them in I've got some stone bricks but I don't think these will be staying around for too long uh, so we'll just do a little, little something like that and we'll maybe put another little slabby there and I think we'll just cap these bits off as well uh, so yeah that's looking pretty good I just hope our dogs can I don't think our dogs will be able to attack them from there. Maybe if we put our doggies in here. No, not like that. Something a little bit like that. And if we have them on either side, I think that'll work out okay. I hope. I just hope the skeletons won't be able to um, attack them. 
I think we'll put a uh, full block here. Alright, so something a little bit like that. Then we'll get our dogs bred up, actually. I wonder if I can use this raw chicken. There we go. Breed away! And then I want to keep this little papa. I want to keep this little papa here. And, yeah, so what we're going to do now is actually... Whoa, I thought the I thought the dogs were dying. Uh, I want to go ahead and just make like a little bit of a window here into the spawner. Oh, jeez, I need to make them sit down too. Come over here, guys. Come over here. Over here, little boys. Good boy. Good boy. There we go. <laughs> um, and yeah, I want to bring some spruce along like so as well. Oop, not like that. And boom. I think we want to replace this uh, mossy cobble here with uh, some spruce as well. Uh, and then we'll probably actually bring the, like later on, maybe not today, we'll bring the floor of the spawner down as well. Um, maybe once we've figured out an actual design that we're going with with the ravine and everything. Uh, so we'll bring this along like so too. Like, oop, like that. And one there. And we'll just go ahead and strip all of this spruce as well. Oops, lucky I brought another axe. And then, once we've got all that placed in, I just want to go ahead and make a glass window. With white stained glass. Something a little bit like so. And that way we can sort of see when the skeletons spawn in, but they won't be able to attack us. Now when I was doing this, I actually um, tried to design something in creative mode with how I wanted all this to look. I got confused. I was like, what? Did Minecraft change the textures? There's no no lines here anymore, but then I realized I've got Optifine on. And I was like, ah, you're a silly duffer. <laughs> uh, so what I want to do is wait a little while so we can breed these little fellas up again. Uh, I don't think, yeah, they can't be bred up again just yet. But once we can, we'll go ahead and breed these guys up again and then we'll break into here. Just realized I don't have silk touch and I've closed all of that off. But we'll break into here and break all the torches and everything as well. Uh, we can probably go ahead and put our chests in here. Uh, just like so. We can um, at least put our chests in and then later on down the track, you know, when we've got the resources to do so, we can sort of automate the storage uh, here so that we can have all of the storage that goes into that hopper there come along to this side and get sorted into whether it's a, an arrow or a bone or a piece of or like a non-stackable item like armor and bows and whatnot and then hopefully we'll be able to get some good bows out of this as well and uh, we can use that infinity book that we bought from the villager in the last episode so we want our chests like so i'm probably gonna need a lot more chests than i actually brought with me yes i am because they're almost gone like that <laughs> uh well that's a good thing isn't it that's a good thing. That means we're going to have plenty of storage here. I probably want to close off this bit of the um, of the cave here as well. So let's just uh, quickly block that off. Yeah, that'll do. All right. So now we've got like a tiny bit of storage. I need a lot more though. Uh, and we'll wait for these puppers to to be able to breed again. So we'll come back very shortly again. And yeah. Alrighty. So now we've got another little pupper. So we can go ahead and get these guys in their place. So we'll get some powered rails out, some normal rails, and a minecart, of course. And once this papa comes over here, come over here, papa. Over here. Maybe. Come on. Come on, papa. No. <laughs> okay, you can just sit there. Uh, and so we want to probably block this off. I didn't bring any blocks with me. I can use some stairs, though like so block that off like so and we'll just put in some powered rails here I need something to power them with Ugh. actually we just need a lever so we can just do that yeah perfect sorry there's a loud car outside apparently uh, so we'll bring this along like so and boom boom and you're in the minecart that worked out alright and then we'll break this. Oh, damn it. Uh, 
and boom. All right, so that's one in place, and now we just need to get this fella in place. Which is going to be a little bit harder because he's all the way over here. Let's push this doggo away. Ah. Oh. Ah. Away. Away with you, Papa. Sit over here with your your brother. And and your mummy can come with me. Your mummy over here. Over here, mummy. These dogs are actually pretty easy to push. You can get quite a bit of distance with them. And we want to get our other minecart out. Boom. 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 So that should be the fully automatic skeleton farm all ready to initiate. I also made some... Uh, can I get this? Yeah. I also made some more uh, chests as well. So we can go ahead and place them in here too. Like so. Maybe we just place these ones along here. And then we can... Ooh. And then we... Oh, don't want them facing that way. Like so. And then we can... Uh, boom. Did that work? Yep. Boom. 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 And I think that should be enough storage for now. Uh, so... Yeah, I guess... You're not supposed to be in there, buddy. I haven't removed the torches yet. Alright, so I guess all that we need to do now is... Um, Go for a little bit of a suicide run in the uh, spawner here. Uh, I probably want to take this out too, so... What? Oh. No, buddy. Let's get you in there. Ha. So, break these. I've got a shield with me this time so I don't get owned by these skeletons as they're spawning in. That's looking good. And one there. Oh. Now let's get the freak out of here. And close that off. And they should start. Is he still tracking me? But they should start coming in here. We should start seeing some automatic experience coming our way. Maybe. It's probably going to take a little while for them to get... It looks a little bit light in there, doesn't it? That's not good because we don't want anything to spawn in here. So if we... Is that going to be okay? I think it should be. So, yeah, we should start to see some skeletons drop down. We should see our dogs... Oh, actually. We have to remove the stair block first. You banana. Can our dogs see them? Doesn't look like our dogs can see them. Um, I'm going to have to go and get some slabs. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back with some slabs. So let's just maybe replace these here with some slabs and see how we go. Pretty sure when I was testing this in a creative world, we did have a few skeletons able to shoot our um, our puppies here. So I don't really want that to happen, but if... Uh, maybe we can use stairs instead. I wonder if that'll work. Let's give that a try. Uh, try. Nope. <laughs> well, maybe something like that. We'll see how it goes. We'll wait for another skeleton to pop down here. See what happens. They're coming. There we go. Boom. There's one with armor there. He's dead with one shot from the doggo. And we're getting a nice influx of bones and arrows here as well. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, the only problem is, like, with Thorn's armor and stuff, the dogs might sort of die. But, at the moment, it's all looking pretty good. 
Uh, I think I'm just going to AFK here for uh, probably a few hours because my girlfriend is competing and I need to go and um, watch her compete, otherwise she will kill me. So I'm going to come back here in a few hours. I'm just going to probably enclose myself in a nice little shell here with the stone bricks. And then we'll see how long, uh, how many bones we get in the time frame that I'm gone. And uh, yeah, I will just check the time when I come back. So right now it's 11.43 a.m. And I will see you guys very soon. Actually, I've just realized I probably want to... Uh, be somewhere where I can collect the experience so maybe we enclose ourselves <laughs> right here because yeah we want to get experience with the, the whole point of this farm was to get experience as well so something a little bit like that we'll put a torch here just in case can we collect the experience from here needs to be like that so maybe we Yeah, we'll just do that. Alright, so I'm going to AFK for a few hours. And we'll see how many levels we get. And how many bones and, and arrows and armor we get as well. Which will be pretty fantastic. See you soon, guys. Alright, guys. It's been around about five hours or so. So, this, the uh, the chest is full and so is my inventory. Uh, that's uh, And our dogs look like they're also dead. Uh... Oh, and there's an Enderman here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's actually get rid of this Enderman because we need the Ender Balls for the Dragon fight. Oh, oh, uh. oh. Uh. Actually, that's one of our dogs there. What is going on here? Why is one of our dogs over there? Our other dog is very obviously dead. But then one of them's ended up over here. I think I need to uh, trap him in somehow. Um, but we've also got... I actually forgot to check my levels. We've got 50 levels. That's that's pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. Uh, let's uh, see if we can just hide all of this stuff in here for the moment. And boom, 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 boom. And arrows go in here. Uh, and we'll just sort of clear out this chest and everything, and, um, yeah, everything's working quite well. I think I've got enough levels now to get a bit of enchanting done, so I think we're going to have to go and find some diamonds. I uh, don't know if I want to show that in the video or not, but that is all I've got time for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We've now got ourselves a skeleton spawner and an automatic experience farm, so... Things are looking good for the future, guys. We're going to get some levels in here, get some enchanted gear, and... We're looking good to get the uh, the dragon fight done very, very soon. So if you enjoyed this episode, guys, please leave a like, rating, and subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. And until then, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.